Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Pardon my reach here guys. Anyways, um, some of you who have been following my channel for a bit, probably uh, guessed at what this video is going to be about for those of you who hasn't followed my channel channel and if this is your first time seeing this video or any of my videos um, the title good tech bad tech might be a little confusing so simply this video is going to be me putting it's going to be basically a head-to-head -head shave with two vintage Gillette techs First one is this one. This is my 1940s Gillette Fat Handle Tech. This is, for those of you who are not familiar with the Tech razors, the Fat Handle is a three piece razor. That's the Good Tech. Called the Good Tech because it's a nice, mild, efficient shaver. The Bad Tech this one. The 1973 third quarter Gillette Psycho Tech. Or, if you want to get technical, the 29R999 Security Safety Razor. This razor was designed by Gillette for prisons, mental homes, and hospitals. And it was designed to allow uh, the inmates or patients to shave themselves without being able to get their hands on the blade. Because you saw me go ahead and take away that, take that last tech apart. This one, turn the handle, ain't happening. Not pulling off. If you notice, the bottom of the handle is not capped on the fat handle tech. It is. The reason it's not capped is because the only way you can get to the blade is with this. This is a key, or the key. You insert it right there. Last time I used this, I ended up going ahead and taking it apart. Forgot to put my finger up here, and the whole top cap and the blade, the blade ended up in the sink, but the top cap went right down the drain, so I had to basically take my sink apart. But you stick it in there, and just turn it left. Move the key, set it aside, and there you go comes apart like a two-piece razor. The brush is going to be the Razor Rock 24mm Plus Soft um, in the barber handle brush. The soap is going to be here in my old Old Spice mug, big truck is a puck of mm, fine American blend which is a barbershop scent. Anyways, the blades that way it's an even match between the two blade wise is Derby Extras. The reason why I call the Psychotech a bad tech is because it gives wonderful shaves but man to me it feels very aggressive so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see just how aggressive it is when it's put up next to a fat handle tag anyways give me a minute I'll be back in a minute once I get this pack of blades unwrapped and pull a couple out see you in a minute oh all right I went ahead and I opened the pack of Darby's and pulled out two blades. First one I'll load up is going to be the fat handle tech. Now, if you're not familiar with techs, if you look here on the fat handle, it's got these little notches here at the corners for the little, because the corners of a DE blade has those little square cutouts, and this linear bar, you drop the blade in over the bar and these hold it. And then you go ahead and 
drop the base plate on and screw the handle on. It's got little indentations right here in the corners for those little nubs. However, the Psychotech, as you can see, oops, wrong head, as you can see, does not have the linear bar. And these nubs are a heck of a lot more pronounced because I guess it was to make sure that the inmates couldn't get a tool up underneath the end that easy, up underneath the, the corner that easy. And it's actually cut out here for those nubs to go in. Once that top cap gets put on and it's tight and it's, you know, um, screwed down, uh, there's no wiggle, there's no play to that blade at all. Zero percent wiggle in play, as a matter of fact. So maybe that's why it makes it just a little bit more of an aggressive filling blade, or, you know, blade fill. And I don't think that the blade exposure and blade gap is very different than the fat handle. So, but we will soon find out. So, here we go, dropping the blade onto the fat handle tech. I always grab, when i messing with the three piece, I drop the blade on, go ahead, grab the, the center post, then I hold the sides. Drop the base plate on. And then screw your handle on like so, snug it down. Now I'm not feeling, I'm just using my fingers here because I can't see, but I don't feel much of a blade gap and I don't feel much blade exposure. Now let's see if it's the same on the Psychotech. these blades they're not the most sharpest blades but you know they're pretty mild and pretty smooth that's why I chose them um, I mean Astra's Astra SPs are pretty mild pretty smooth blade to me but even an Astra SP in this Psychotech it's just it's to me it's almost too much I'd hate to see what a feather felt like in that sucker. And I mean, I've ran feathers in that, in that fat handle tech. Got the blade in, dropping it on, just like a traditional two-piece. Grab your key. Insert the key, which by the way, and screw it down. FYI, if you're out in the wild, what the heck? Uh-oh. Okay, hang on here, guys. When I tightened it down, the blade kind of slipped out the end here. There we go. If you're out in the wild and you come across one of these and you grab it, I paid five bucks for mine. Um, and it's in just beautiful shape. But if you see one in the wild and you think, oh man, it's a Psychotech, I'd love to get one, but it's going to be hard to get the key. Go to Razor and Pour and I ended up picking up this, all made in the United States. Reproduction key for 65 bucks. Normally they're 85. This here little, little piece, the the little chain with the little balls on it, is actually the same company that made it for Gillette. The ring was made by some company, some shop. I can't remember where, and the um, key itself was made there at Razor Emporium 
in their in their shop, I guess their Rex shop where they make the Rex Ambassador. Okay, now. There's more blade gap. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's more blade gap on this razor. Then on the fat handle tech. I imagine maybe it was that way because you know, um, inmates and mental patients just didn't have the um, convenience of going out to the, you know, to Montgomery Wards or Sears or wherever it was or their local store and say, oh, you know what, that razor's too mild, so I'll go ahead and pick up that one. So, you know, so we'll see, we'll see how, how they compare. So let me go ahead, get my brush wet. This plus off is a synthetic brush for those who are not familiar with this brush. Um, I paid after shipping and handling right around 20 bucks for the for the well the shipping and handling I had ordered a couple extra things but it was like 13 bucks 12 something 13 bucks something like that before shipping. And I'll just start loading on the plane here. Um, these fine soaps, they are triple milled, so, you know, um, they're pretty, pretty hard soap. There we go. Now the way I'm going to do this, so I'm going to shave the left side of my face with the fat handle tech. The right side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and shave with the psycho. Anyways, be back, go ahead and get my face wet. There we go. And just go right into a face lather. Got a dang tooth here on the, down here on the bottom. Starting to give me issues. Um, I ended up getting that periodontal disease. Not severe, but a few of my teeth. Well, they're ready to come out. And, uh, Already had one taken. So, um, This fine whips up into a really nice lather. I really, really like it. Um, I got this one, fine soap, and fine orange noir. And uh, the orange noir is just 
Oh God, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I really, really like it. Okay. So, see here? Yep, that's fine. Um, that's fine with the fine. Okay, let's see where's the fat handle. Nice thing is, is the fat handle has the capped bottom. The Psycho does not, so it's relatively easy to tell them apart. So, let's see. Here we go. Left side with the grain. Now, that. You know, that does not feel aggressive. What? So ever, um, yes, most of these techs usually are pretty forgiving razors. Um, I had a ball in tech from the late forties or sometime in the forties because it did not have a date code. Um, I ended up getting gifted and absolutely awesome box of razors um, by one of my beers. And there was a '56 tech head on really kind of a fancy ornate handle. Okay, now that oops, that's a little spot right there. Now that very smooth pass. Now, let's see how the Psychotech feels, because the first time I used the Psychotech, I used it with a Wilkinson sword, Gillette Wilkinson sword sewing blade. Very, very, very light touch. Yeah, um, yeah, these Darby Extra Blades are definitely the ones to run in this Psycho Pack. Um, definitely. Yeah, I'm thinking that the blade fill, and, and you definitely get some blade fill with this one, but I'm definitely thinking that that was done purposely by Gillette. Because of, oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and finish a little spot right here. Oh, no, that's not the, that handle. There we go. But I definitely think maybe Gillette said, hey, let's make it a little more aggressive. Um, 
because we don't know what kind of beard growth the inmates are all going to have. So. Which I definitely don't blame them on. I would say that if the tech, fat handle tech, I don't know, maybe a four, um, on a scale of one to ten, one being the most mild, ten being the most aggressive, um, the fat handle's about a four. Maybe a five. Um, you know, your opinion may vary, um, but a four, maybe possibly a five. And I would definitely have to put the fat, the psycho. Maybe a six to seven, seven and a half, maybe. Um, it's definitely on the aggression scale. A couple of notches above. The fat handle. And I've seen some people say that, you know, when they talked about vintage blades using them, they were like, you know, these vintage blades, they, they were a bit rough. Um, in fact, I saw an episode of I'd rather be shaving with Douglas Smythe and Matt Pissarsic. And Matt was using a tech, a fat handle tech. Maybe it was a ball. I don't know. It was a tech. I know that. And he was using a Gillette Blue Blade. And uh, he stopped. He stopped. During the shave, I was like, no, 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 I'm going to go ahead and slap a, you know, I'm good. <laughs> I can't remember if he slapped another blade in there or not. But, you know, he was like, I'm good. Yeah. So. Oh, 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 oh. I have a new subscriber. I'm gonna have to double check on my emails. Um, pretty sure, and I'll correct it if I'm wrong. His name is Johnny Johansson. Um, and I would like to go ahead and give him not just not only a shout out, welcoming him to the channel. But I would also like to go ahead and give him a small channel mafia um, shout out because he has, I think he's got somewhere around nine subscribers. So welcome, Johnny. I will double check that. Oh, okay. Dang it. Psychotech started here on the left. Dang. Um, my bad. So, I'll do the right with the here across the grain. over here with the fat handle. I mean this side with the fat handle.
It's not about that, guys. Yeah. Definitely a little bit nicer experience than first couple of times a Wilkinson, Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade is not the kind of blade you want to run in this, these, these psychotags. Um, I don't know if it's just that this year, Psychotech the 73 was just more aggressive than the others, but yeah, it's it's it'll bite you. Um, and then the Astra SPs, were definitely a step down. They were definitely still rough. Um, so, and it was, it was definitely, um, I forgot to check on the first pass, but let's see. Well, yeah, I did check on the first pass. And definitely better beard reduction on that first pass with the Psycho. Um, I don't know. Pretty close to the same on the second. Um, so, anyway, let's go here. I usually do not like to mail out razors. Um, but I'm going to give it some thought and uh, And uh, four of the no, um, I need to find out what insurance and all that is runs. Um, and still giving that some thought, but maybe, just possibly maybe, a few of the smaller guys, uh, and a few of the bigger guys on YouTube, see if they would be willing to go ahead and maybe you know, they'd be interested in doing a pass around with this psychotech. Um, not sure yet on that. Um, Cause it's kinda, it's kinda my baby. I was kinda thinking it and it's, uh, so um, don't quote me, don't quote me. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a for sure thing, but it's just possibly, 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 I don't know. 
I'd have to figure out how to want to do it. But anyways, against the grain. Van Handle Tech, left side. Now this is this is where the fat handle tech really really shines or in the tech razor is really for me because you can do an against the grain pass and I mean it's such a smooth smooth razor. Um, I mean I've seen guys say well, you know, the tech is too mild. <laughs> uh, they obviously never tangled with a psychotech. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Psychotech is definitely um, more aggressive razor. Yeah, it's it's definitely more aggressive. All right. Now, right side, Psychotech. I mean, yeah. Going very, very, very light touch. You have to. This is, you know, um, if you don't have a real light touch, you and this razor ain't going to get along. Um, but if you do have a light touch, you know, the razor's going to do well for you. Um, or, if you just want to make sure you know, if you want to work on your touch, as far as being a light touch, and wet shaving, oh. get one of these. Because, you know, you're going to definitely, definitely do a light touch. Definitely, because, well, um, it's, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna make you learn. 
I mean, the first time I used it was here on camera. A couple of videos back, shaving with a psycho. I'm done. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't even go across the screen on my upper left. I couldn't go across because it was just, it, it, it bit me. It bit me. Um, it bit me well. Or was that the second? Oh, it might have been the second one. Second video. Or the second time I shaved with it. First time I shaved with it on video, second time. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here. And I'm going to go ahead and check real quick, see if I need any cleanup. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, all right. Um, here, a little bit on each side here by my ears. Um, lit needs a little buffing. I'm gonna do all the cleanup with the uh, with the fat handle. Um, this fine has plenty of residual slickness. Get hold of a give it a few days thought and uh, go ahead and yeah contact a few of the other white shapers here on YouTube. And, you know, say, hey. Um, and see if they would be amenable. Or, well, you know, would like to possibly... Do press around. Um, this kind of Some of the YouTubers, the smaller guys, a couple of them, um, no. Just see, you know. Um. Anyways, yeah. Um, oh, right there. Okay. Think about this fine. It's got great, great, great residual slickness. So. Thinking maybe frugal shave, um, Chris Bailey, Ken Surfs, one or two others that I watch. Um, and some of the couple of the smaller guys I got. So, 
I don't know yet. No promises, guys. So please, if you're watching this, don't say, ooh, psychotech. Um, I, I just gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta figure it out. Because it's kind of, it's kind of one of my holy grail razors. I might just be talking out my patootie here, as they might say, but, um, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Um, I'd have to say that, You know, even though even though the psychotech feels more aggressive, it might have gotten a little bit closer. Might have got it a little bit closer. Um because I screwed up and just started doing the left side here with the psycho instead of the fat handle. But so far they're pretty even. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off here and I'll be back for the owl. So yeah, nice shape, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some alum. And, uh, and then when I come back for the post shape, I'll let you I'll double check before I do. I'll work on my emails real quick with my, with my phone. I'll double check and make sure that it is Johnny Johansson. That... I'll double check to make sure that is him. Um, because if I'm going to give a shout out to a new subscriber, I want to do it right. But anyways, so yeah, I will go ahead and I will rinse off here and shave my noggin. Check that. I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. Zero. Stop recording video. Button. Dim. Stop recording video. Okay. Button. All right. Come back in three, two, one. Now, hey everybody, that was a. Uh, Absolutely awesome shave. Um, by the way, yes, it is Johnny Johansson. Um, shout out to him as a new subscriber and also to a small channel mafia. Shout out to him. Um, he has nine subscribers. Go ahead, look him up. Um, if need be, go into my subscribers. Um, and he should be there. Anyhow, so um, that's it. I don't even know if you can access those. But anyways, yeah. So Johnny Johansson. Anyways, um, yeah, that was a great shave. Um, the left side of the face and the left side of the head, which was what the fat hand where I did the fat handle tech, um, screwed up and did the second pass. With the psycho tech here on the left and then I did have to do the fat handle over here but um you know the two sides they came out pretty even on the face the head it's a little bit of a different story um I've got stubble here and here um you know which is fine I'll just you know screw it I'm gonna be shaving it in a couple of days again anyhow uh, the back is great so the Psycho Tech is definitely a better head shaver than a regular tech. Um, I can get pretty good shaves with a tech on my head. I just have to work at it a little bit. And also too, I use a little bit sharper blade in the tech because it is such a mild shaver. But like I said, um, the aggression on the Psycho is more than a regular tech. So I just, you know, I wanted to go at it with a mild blade, and with the most mild blade I have, which is a Derby Extra, I got an absolutely great shave on my noggin from it. So, yeah, I would say that definitely, yes, the answer, the question has been answered. Psychotechs are more aggressive. 
And like I said, that's probably because Gillette figured, hey, you know, we need to go ahead and make it um, that way because all skin types are, you know, locked up. And uh, plus two, you have a little bit more blade gap on the Psychotech than you do the fat handle. So, um, you know, that might have something to do with it too. But, so, let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. Sitting here while I was shaving my head, I was rocking out to Five Finger Death Punch. Um, Rome Side of Heaven, Righteous Side of Hell, Volume 2. Listen to Volume 1, the last time I shaved. So, I, I like them there. I really like them. I, you know... I used to rock out to Metallica, Iron Maiden, Queen's Reich, all them back in the 80s and 90s. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, there for a while I was in a, when I was a teenager, I was in a country western Tom Jones phase. Why Tom Jones? I don't know. But, um, you know, what can I say? I like Tom Jones' music. Um, bit odd, but I did. Uh, but then, now my true love of music is more the heavy metal. I mean, I'm almost 50, but send me to a heavy metal concert, depending on who it is. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch, Disturbed. Uh, some of Slipknot is a little bit too heavy for me. Um, a little bit of Five Finger Death Punch has some stuff that's too heavy for me, but I don't know. Most of Five Finger Death Punch's songs, I just like. So, that was the Cheapo Dollar General Witch Hazel. The Nivea Coast Shave Balm. For the noggin, a little bit for the, for the face, other bands I like, I like Shine Down, um, Disturbed, um, Hellstorm with Lindsay Hell, Lindsay Hell. that kind of music. So, since I went ahead and I used a barber, the Razor Rock Barber Shop Barber Handle Brush, and I used um, Fine American Blend, which is a barber shop scent. Let's go ahead, let's carry on the barber shop theme and go with Panad Clubman. Uh, lots of people say it's barbershop. A lot of people remember. Sounds like good old Uncle John. Um, our Uncle John soaps, you know. He says if you walk into a barbershop out in that part of the country. It's not a clubman all the way. And mm, love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. Mm. Gonna go ahead and take a second hit of that. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Apparently, I found out I've got my girlfriend and a couple of friends of hers. And cahoots behind my back, and um, I 
I guess, I guess for Christmas that I'm going to be getting some more soaps and possibly some blades and some aftershave and, and uh, who knows what else. My girlfriend's, I didn't get you any shaving stuff for Christmas. Um, maybe she didn't. Maybe she did. I don't know. Sometimes, um, you know, she gets a little devious with stuff like that. But anyways, um, so yeah, maybe I'll be going ahead and showing you all some, trying out some new goodies. Um, one thing that I do think she is getting me though, is um, some of the feather spineless blades. So I can go ahead and, and you know, uh, test out that Valet Auto Strop that I, that I haven't had a chance to test yet. Um, so, you know, might be going ahead and doing a shave with that after Christmas. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, if it ain't right after Christmas, it'll be soon because I really want to use that razor. Anyways, so let's take a look at what we used. The razors were Gillette Psychotech. I mean, Gillette Fat Handle Tech from the 1940s on the left side of my face and head. 1973, third quarter, Psycho Tech on the right side of my face and my head. And, and um, both of them was running brand new um, Darby Extra blades, first use on both. Um, you know, they both did great. I enjoyed using them both. They're both great razors. If you can get either, um, really good razors to have. However, one bit of warning. If you do have a ball-in tech, a fat handle tech, um, and you go out and you get yourself a psycho tech, um, if your favorite blade to run in that uh, fat handle or ball in tech or any other kind of tech, if your favorite blade to run in it, in it is a really sharp blade, so like a feather or a Gillette Wilkinson sword or Gillette Silver Blue or something up the you know high up there on the sharpness scale, uh, don't do it. Just do not put in that psychotech. Go ahead, dial it down to a, a less, uh, you know, a more mild blade. Um, Darby worked really great. It still felt aggressive with the Darby. Um, definitely not as aggressive as the Saloon Wilkinson Sword Gillette Saloon Blade or the Astra, um, but still plenty aggressive. And they just worked well. The, the soap was in my Old Spice mug, my um, fine American blend, which is a barbershop scent. The brush was the Razor Rock 24mm Plus Soft synthetic brush in the barber handle. The post shave was warm water followed by cold for both. Um, did a on my face. Um, warm water followed by cold. Uh, Dollar General Witch Hazel on the head and the face. Followed by Nivea Post Shape Balm. Um, followed by a double shot of Panade Clubman. Um, it was a beautiful shave. I enjoyed it. I hope you all did too. Uh, once again, Welcome Johnny Johansson to the channel and if y'all have a chance go ahead check out his channel um, and I'll see um, all of you on the flip side of the blade and oh if you want if you want to go ahead and if you're not quite sure how he spells his last name he commented on my uh, shaving with a psycho video and if he comments on here, that'll give you a chance to go ahead and click on click on him and, and check his channel out. Um, anyways, y'all take it easy. Bye-bye now.